we're going to be building a small pond or like water feature. First thing I do in the morning is check on my sea babies. You're going to be surprised to see how big they're all getting. I've got the entire edge or outer perimeter of the food forest planted with those elderberry cuttings that were given to us. And some lily pads and stuff in here. We have six dead fish that died in transport. Stillness of winter has definitely subsided a lot. <laughs> you hear all the frogs and the insects, the birds that haven't been around since last year. Spring is almost here. I know it's probably still cold where some of you are, but here today's have been in the 60s. It's still cold a little bit at night times. We have some drop below freezing, but then it's like 65, 70 in the daytime, so tolerable. So in an attempt to bring in more birds, dragonflies, all the things that'll help keep the predator insect population down in our garden, we're gonna be building a small pond or like water feature. We've been looking for something to do with this giant circle in the center of our garden and a little meditation pond. <laughs> well, I don't even wanna call it a pond because it's gonna be super small, but something that birds and frogs and things of that nature will enjoy as well as me and Jess. For this pond, we're going to be using a pond liner that we have that's about 7 foot by 10 foot in length. We do have hopes of making the pond a little bit bigger in the future, but for now, we're just going to start small and see how it works out. Got some clouds rolling in. It always seems like when you're really motivated and have things you want to get done, it's going to rain. Tennessee weather cracks me up. I'm digging out the shape of this pond it reminds me of one of our first few videos when we were on the other property when I was building just a shower in the uh, down in the woods and I outlined this kind of weird shape and put moss in the center made it all look kind of magical in the woods and the people that bought the property after us they thought it was a grave down there and they started freaking out <laughs> it just reminded me of that I don't know why like the shape of it was kind of similar I mean, it's a pretty small little pond, so we're gonna have tiny fish in there, preferably ones that like mosquito larvae. Even though we have a little fountain and I don't think mosquitoes will lay eggs in water that's not standing still, still would like to have fish in there that eat the bugs. We got nature's rock tumbler here. I'm hoping later tonight I don't look at my legs and they're all chewed up and itching. When you first move off grid, you very quickly realize that in warmer weather, breaking the tree line has consequences. The ticks and chiggers are really bad and cause a lot of discomfort. When I first was taking this liner out of the package, it felt really thick and like it wasn't going to be very easy to kind of manipulate around the shape of the pond. Let's hope I'm wrong though. I feel like I only got like another hour before the rain starts and I want to get the pond liner in before that happens so the hole doesn't fill up with water because 
that felt like a lot of clay in there and I think it'll probably hold water. It probably didn't even need a liner. Who knows? I don't know. You know what? I got a lot of excess pond liner around the edges, so I think I might widen it a little bit in some places. Kind of have fun with it, make it a little bit more natural looking. I don't know. I'll just work in the rain if I have to. <laughs> it feels great though. I love working when it's not too hot out like this. It's like the perfect weather to get projects outside done. Love it. Now comes the fun part, getting to fill up the pond. I got a few wrinkles in the liner that I'm hoping the weight of the water will take care of, but if not, it's not really that big a deal because the whole bottom will be covered in those river rocks or the rocks I'm getting from the creek. I think that's as full as I'm making it tonight. Tomorrow we're gonna stack the rocks around and plant some plants and cut the rest of the excess pond liner out, but it ain't going nowhere and I'm happy with how deep it is and how it turned out so far. Heck yeah, it's coming together. I got these elderberry cuttings from Kerry a few weeks ago. Today I'm going to plant them in my food forest. Elderberry makes a great perimeter plant. It bushes out, so I think if I line it along this side here, I think we're going to do pretty good. As you can see, I got my food forest a little bit cleared out. I've been spending the past few weeks on it. I let it get way overgrown last year because my weed eater broke. So I got a different plan this year, and I'm going to be talking with Kerry a lot and how to organize, plant, plan out this food forest so that it's as successful as can be. But elderberries are first thing we're putting in this year. Hey guys. Hey Rezzy. She almost went right through the pond. <laughs> what do you think of it? I really like it, but I don't want the dogs to get hurt. So... Get away. <laughs> They're like, ah, fresh water source. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> you like it though? I do like it. Are you gonna let tonight's rain fill it up the rest of the way? Yeah. Yeah, it's a good idea. It's really nice. I love that it's shaped like a fish. Did you notice that it's got a shape of a fish? I, that was totally by accident. <laughs> I know it was. <laughs> so when you plant these, you wanna have at least one leaf node above the soil and have them at least like four to five inches below so they can have enough room to root. Hopefully these do really well here. We have so many of them here. I know, it's exciting. It's gonna actually, I think, surround the entire perimeter, but that's that I wanna do the, the uh, 
blackberries. Oh, okay. I don't know. I just wanted to make sure it wasn't ants. <laughs> I think that's enough for tonight. Yeah. It's getting a little dark and it looks like it's about to rain hard again. Yeah, it's supposed to all night, so we'll see. We'll, we'll finish planting these tomorrow along with the blackberries on the other side. We are real confident about this garden and <laughs> the way we're growing this year. Me too. Guys, come on, get out of there. <laughs> Let's out of go. the hole, come on. Nelly, come on. Come Nelly. on, Nelly, let's go. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Slow down. First thing I do in the morning is check on my sea babies. You're gonna be surprised to see how big they're all getting. You can see them here. This top row we have, these are all little baby arugulas. And this is parsley, but it hasn't sprouted yet. And then down on the next shelf, all the shard is coming up. And this is rainbow shard, so you can see all the cute, like there's, I don't know if you can see, but there's like pink and yellow and green in there. With a broccoli. The broccoli, three of them of one kind have sprouted and the other three haven't. So that's kind of interesting. Come on, Sally, go away. And then on this side, we have the cabbage all coming up. Getting a little leggy. A little bit. I'd say we're off to a good start this year. Yeah, they look really great. The greenhouse is doing us really good. Yeah. Much better germination rate this year than we had last year at this time. I agree. Yeah. Looks small to be a closet. <laughs> Well, I mean, it's in pieces. The warnings say, upward, afraid fire, don't tread, afraid wet. <laughs> so as long as we don't do any of those things, I think we'll be okay with this closet. How does an entire closet fit in that small box? <laughs> this is just temporary. This is just to get stuff off the floor for now, get the water problem fixed so we aren't damaging any more things and just to kind of give us a little bit more square footage in here until we get the bed up. Insanity. Yeah, <laughs> insanity, 100%. I wish they would make these pictures a little bigger. I'm gonna use this box. I like scrolls. Here he, here he. I decree. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're gonna be okay with this. I think it's gonna work for like what we need it to for right now. For now, it's going to. <laughs> yeah. It feels cheap though. <laughs> it does a little bit. <laughs> it's like paper thin shelving. <laughs> I don't want IKEA stuff. <laughs> <I know. laughs> she, you know what? She's banned from buying our shelving anymore. That's it. I'm in charge. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> hey. 
I do. <laughs> Just a little set of little boxes to put in there to put our socks in unmentionables. Unmentionables. <laughs> <laughs> this should be definitely enough to store our clothes. Oh, agreed. <laughs> It'd be better than living out of a bag. Yeah. Organization starting to make you feel a little better. Yeah, I mean, look at all this real estate. I just freed up. <laughs> I'm loving it. I, I like real having... estate. <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> yeah, no, I just like having things to have their place. It drives me insane having this stuff all over the place and nowhere has a home for anything. And uh, we're slowly getting anxiety, there. Anxiety, so we're slowly getting there. We are, and I'm feeling a little better with every little thing that gets put away. <laughs> I've got the entire edge or at a perimeter of the food forest planted with those elderberry cuttings that were given to us. I think they're going to do pretty good because the ones that I planted yesterday that were kind of, the leaves are wilted down a little bit, they're perked right back up. They look great. Getting the first things planted in this food forest definitely got me motivated, feeling confident, and seeing the vision of what this is going to be. I'm just glad you all are going to be able to witness the transformation of this bare field to a beautiful edible forest with me. It's going to be awesome. Our mosquito fish came in the mail. Yes, they did. So we're just going to put the bag in there and let them acclimate while we finish kind of doing the landscaping around the pond. Getting Making it look, it look pretty. Yeah, <laughs> it's going to look nice. Yeah, I'm excited for that part. The fun part. Yeah, the fun part. Thank you for doing all the hard work. You're welcome. <laughs> This is the pond fountain that we got. It looked a whole lot bigger in the picture, I promise. <laughs> I don't know what this is going to do. We're probably going to have to get a new one. But for now, it's something. Right. I think it'll work. Of course it's going to work, but it is how it well will it work is the question. It is solar powered with this tiny little panel. Um, no sun right now, so I doubt it's going to work, but we'll see. See if it'll turn on with the cloudy day. <laughs> oh, it's starting to do something. So, is it supposed to just spit like that? No, it's just because there's not enough power from the sun. Oh, okay. So, as we're constructing this pond, one of the things that we need to consider is that we're actually creating a small pond and it's right in the center of our garden which means direct sunlight all day and in the summer it can get pretty hot here so throughout the construction process we're going to attempt to make sure that we have tall enough shade plants to shade it from the sun side and plenty of like rock features so that there's plenty of shade inside because we do plan to keep wild, live fish in here and you know obviously we don't want the water scalding if a bird wants to come take a bath or you know some frogs or turtles want to join so we Don't want to forget keep the, the dragonflies <laughs> and the dragonflies. Yeah. So we want to get the water temperature, you know, to remain at a a, a good temperature for the wildlife that's going to utilize this water while it being in direct sun all summer. So wish us luck on that one. So we're going to have to put something underneath this one that goes out like that one right there. 
we don't actually have a plan here. We're just kind of <laughs> piecing them together to try and make like a, a waterfall. Yeah, like, yeah, a water, a water bridge or something. Shade spot, and when we get a better pump, we can actually have the water trickling down it. Clean it out. <laughs> <laughs> we kicked a lot of debris in here. But it looks cool. It looks really nice. The makings of it looks really nice. Now just imagine this with all kinds of flowers and catty nines and shade know, plants. Yeah, shade plants, some lily pads and stuff in here. We do have a bunch of plants on the way like hornwort and hyacinth that'll help oxygenate and protect the surface of the water from the sun. Things that'll help oxygenate it for the fish. Yeah, make it pretty. Make it pretty. Okay. <laughs> We had six dead fish that died in transport, but the rest of them seemed to have went for cover immediately in the rocks <laughs> or wherever. So we couldn't find them, but I saw a few swim away. How'd he get out of there? They're little tiny silver minnows. <laughs> yeah, they're mosquito fish, so they'll help keep the mosquito, mosquito population down. I think each one can eat 100 mosquito larvae a day. And they also eat algae, so that'll hopefully keep the algae levels down too. They can see him moving there. Can you? Yeah, there's a couple. We've been blessed with a lot of eggs lately, so needless to say, breakfast has been on the menu like quite often this week. <laughs> and it's okay because it's my favorite. Yeah, but we have been, look how many eggs we have. And we've gone through probably three dozen in the past couple of days. <laughs> yeah, so. Heaven. But we're not, we don't care, right? We love breakfast. We love breakfast. <laughs> that she cooks <laughs> <laughs> really is well I mean I'm sorry I should say that but I just no. I really prefer breakfast we really could eat this every day without ever getting tired of it yeah we do cook a good variety though so and I couldn't live without variety but I really could eat breakfast every day Unfortunately, all the plants we ordered for the pond didn't come in until late Saturday, and 
this being such a small rural town, the post office isn't open very late on that day, and I didn't know they were delivered. So I just have to wait till next week, put them in and get it all beautified. But it's all right. I'm actually really happy with the way it turned out. The pond only cost us like 45 bucks, I think, to make, and super simple, and it looks great. <laughs> it really looks good. All right, Nelly, Sally, ready? Let's go in. All right. Blood, blood pressure's still doing good. Awesome. If you're new here, a few months back, I had a little scare with my blood pressure being way too high, and they put me on medicine, which, in all honesty, I've been going the more natural route most of the time. I take my blood pressure medication if it's spiking. But this year I have a plan to grow a whole bunch of medicinal plants as well as mushrooms that's going to lower my blood pressure as well as improve my overall health. I've been following the advice of one of my friends, Marte King, who you've met in previous videos. I literally myself witnessed this dude reverse age. It's been insane just watching the transformation he's gone through. And I'm about to show you one of the ways I'm going to be improving my overall health this year. So here we have an alkaline water machine that was given to me by Marte from his company, PH Balance. When you really get into it, this machine's pretty cool in the way it makes alkaline water. It uses a process called ionization to separate the hydrogen from the oxygen. The hydrogen or the alkaline water is an antioxidant, sometimes called a free radical scavenger. This machine also makes a byproduct, which is an acidic water, which works great as a natural cleaner. So I can't wait to actually use that instead of chemicals, because we would like to become a chemical free house completely. Now there are different opinions about alkaline water, but I've seen it personally work a miracle in my friend's life. So I'm gonna try his 21 day challenge where it's all I'm gonna drink for 21 days and I'll let y'all witness the changes that it makes within me. In my own research and talking with my friend, it seems to be really good for inflammation and just super hydration. So that's something that, hydration is something we all need, honestly. I'll also leave a link in the description for my friend's company, PH Balance. Let's show the small business some love and support, and let's witness the miracle and health changes it makes within myself. We're going to leave you all here this week. We'll see you next time. And remember, keep growing. Keep growing. He hates it whenever I say it not at the same time as him. So. You never do. <laughs> she did it on purpose. <laughs> see you later, everyone. <laughs>